What's up guys, it's Hyde coming at you with another video and today I got a pretty good sized package from Gymshark so stay tuned because I'll be trying these on and give you my overall thoughts about them. Okay guys, so we're back in the studio and I'm going to keep wearing this shirt and I'm going to talk about it in a little bit, but we're going to go through some minor differences in what I think about the, the apparel overall. So first of all, the first thing that I tri tried on was this tri-panel tank. Um, what I've noticed between the clothing in general, um, all the tops for the most part, from the sizing guide at least, they're all the same size, supposedly. So this tri-panel tank in a medium is I consider it pretty tiny I mean like you, you'll be one of those guys who wear like a freakish medium shirt walking around just to make yourself look bigger and I'll put all of my statistics my metrics down in the description below so you can check it and compare it to yourself but I'm around a 40 inch chest and from their size and guide I should be a medium in shirts so this is a medium and if you're gonna get the tri-panel tank and I'm starting to think like most tanks um, if you have like a 40 or so tank, from, from what I've seen so far, 40, 41 inch chest, you could very definitely go up to a large. Um, the length might be a little bit longer, but it's not going to be much of a problem. The, um, the chest is somewhat snug. I'll pull it off, but go a little bit bigger. Alright, so next thing was these seamless shirts. I actually like these seamless shirts. I, I always like these kind of shirts. Um, they always feel really good, really stretchy. So because they're super stretchy, a medium isn't that bad just because they stretch like crazy. And um, if you want to know what these kind of feel like, if you've ever had a Nike, like this is a quarter zip, they're running apparel, it's 
from what I'm seeing, it's like the exact same thing. So if you really want to know what these feel like, just go to like Nike or Adidas has like the same things, the quarter zip, the full zips, the, the no zip. So yeah, just try it out. The next was the imprint bottoms. So these are like the biggest difference, not between everything else that I've shown you, but between themselves. So I know that like Gymshark went through a giant um, version two of all of their apparel. So the weird thing is these come from the same order, shipped and received at the same time, but they are very obviously different pants. So I'm assuming that the blacks will be version one and the grays, the charcoal, I believe this one was, would be version two. And you know that because like they have these, uh, these metal aglets. So between the two, they look pretty much the exact same, but the material is very different. I don't know if it's just because of the black that they did a different, or all version ones versus version two. Version one, the material on the black is, I would say thicker. It's a lot thicker and furrier. It's a lot softer, more comfortable for sure, in my opinion. They, these feel like freaking girl leggings, like those thick girl leggings, like when you just, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. The, these gray imprint bo bottoms ones, they feel like they're those super cheap, what's it called? Um, I have champ sweats. I don't have them anymore. I will show you, but they feel like those, like the, those, the cheapest champs sweats that they make, those like really thin ones. This is like almost the exact same thing, just a little bit nicer with the, the imprint and the aglets and whatnot. But these feel pretty much like it just because they're so thin. Between the two, I like the material of the version one versus the version two, but the version two, I would say is a little bit better quality just because they're the exact same size. On all my bottoms, I bought small, and all of my tops, I bought mediums. So these small bottoms versus these small bottoms, from I don't think you'll be able to see this, but when I put these on, a stitch broke, and it's pretty much. It's a good thing that, that they double stitched it or else like I don't know if you can see that but like there is definitely like stitching tear right there this after a while if the inner stitching holds up uh, they'll last a while but this that's gonna be a hole there I'll have to restitch that up or something so then my last thing that I wanted to say was or I mean the other stuff these shorts are nice um, like I said I got a small on them too but these are they're, I want to say they're pretty short. I mean, like, they're made to be short, but from what I'm seeing, they're, you can probably go up a size in these and just check, again, like I said, all my metrics are in the description below, so check my sizing or uh, my waist and everything, so compare it to yourself, but I think you can go a size up from these. Um, the sleeveless hoodie. Overall, the sizing fit pretty well. I mean, the chest under the pits is a little bit snug, but I think like after it stretches out, you wear a couple times. This would be perfect. So the last thing, this shirt is the what is this shirt? The form T-shirt. So overall, it fits pretty well. It fits like if you shopped at Bodybuilding.com and got one of their like free shirts, the whether it's the short sleeve white one or the black one, it feels similar to that as far as, as the stretchiness if you have one of those shirts you know what i'm talking about um but the only thing is like the chest for the most part it fits pretty well but the pits and these are you, you can definitely feel them the sleeves are a little bit short so like they come up on your pits so it like i said earlier in my opinion on all the tops i could have probably gone up one size on the um so i have pretty big I have a, for my size, I would say I have a pretty big chest. Um, so my problem's always been because I'm shorter. I'm five foot five or so, and I have a, a pretty big chest for my size, like I said. So I'm like a 40, 41 inch chest. And shirts, shirts and what's it called? Pants don't really work out because I work out. So it's always the chest that's snug. And then on the, uh, the pants, my legs, my quads are pretty big. But I'm short, so uh, the the length is always an issue. So from what I've seen between the imprint bottoms and the tapered bottoms, the tapered bottoms is definitely a lot longer. On the imprint bottoms, 
these are pretty much perfect for like someone that's five 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 six um, but from their sizing guide or like their motto on the Gymshark website whenever you scroll down all it says like the guy is like five eight or five ten and he wears like a, a small I believe he's five eight don't check but he's like in in the um, in the uh, the sizing guy he's always wearing a small so then like I'm reading through the forms and whatnot I'm seeing like everybody is wearing a small and they're like up to like six foot tall and they're wearing small so I was like I was like all right I just ordered smalls just because like uh, because I was really worried about the length and for the most part that's that's pretty right because like the imprint bottoms like I said length for a five foot five person is pretty dead on on the the Uh, fit tapered bottoms. They're a little bit longer. I probably say they're a good like three four inches So if you're like five eight five ten like that size of guy would be pretty dead on the, That would be your size on a small unless you squat a lot. I'll probably go up um, The other thing I forgot to say mention about this shirt I don't know if you can tell on the video so far But like this shirt is like cut super weird for the traps wise even if like you have massive traps It's just really formed differently. I mean my traps are a pretty decent size, but man these things are just so much extra um, material all right so that's all the clothes and my general thoughts on all of them so another thing that I wanted to mention and a, a warning to pretty much everybody that's going to buy from Gymshark or just going to import products in general so I ordered this I, was, I want to say on Sunday and usually when I order Gymshark they'll ship like Tuesday if I order from like Sunday and Monday they'll ship Tuesday and I get it on Thursday so that's been the case before so this time I made a pretty big order. It's a it's over two hundred bucks. I believe it was two sixty, uh, two sixty two twenty. So on Thursday, it's supposed to go out for delivery, like it's supposed to, like it usually does. So it does, but then like I checked my um, my tracking in the morning, and I chose DH DHL Express just because like when you order. Um, I don't know what the, the cutoff amount is, but like when you order enough um, material, you spend enough money, they'll give you free express shipping and it's through DHL. So the, the issue is that when I checked my tracking in the morning, it said that my shipping shipment was on hold. So I thought it was just like a, on hold for a little bit until they get it to like the courier for shipping or whatnot. So that wasn't the case. I kept on checking and later in the afternoon, it was like three or four o'clock in, in the afternoon. And I checked again, it said the exact same thing. So I know I was like, I told myself this thing's not going to go out today at all. So I called DHL and it turns out they were holding it for import duties. So what that pretty much means like when you import products into the US, into the US, um, you sometimes get an import duty and it's just taxes on the imports. So the taxes came out to like 7168 or something like that. So I ordered 262 plus 71. So I just shot it way over 300. So that got me a little bit pissed off. But anyways, so that's more of an issue for people outside of the UK because um, Gymshark is based in the UK. So you don't have really have that much that problem at all, I don't think. So if you're importing to a different country you might want to check with your local um post office or whatever carrier that you're shipping through but if you're in the u.s i would highly suggest you pick usps that's the other option for gymshark shipping i believe so for me like through usps i've never had import taxes no matter how much you spend i spend like let's just i spend a couple grand on shipping stuff from out of the country and you never get import taxes i'm not going to guarantee that but that's just from my personal experience um the first time i ever got import duty was through this order through dhl so just a warning word for the wise um so i talked back and forth back and forth with the gymshark rep and it's pretty much uh, it's it's based on how much you spend so from what he was saying it's pretty much if you spend over 200 dollars, it's going to happen to you so I would advise you to either break up your order or, well, break up your order or just pay the import duties, uh, I guess. But um, I think breaking up your order, even if you're shipping through them, is like less than 10 bucks for um, most for the most part. So you're going to be spending that 10 bucks on shipping rather than $70 on $200 worth of items. So it's really not worth it to pay the, the import tax taxes. So that was just my experience with the Gymshark. Um, overall, I really like the apparel, except for the uh, 
the black imprint bottoms where I got version one instead of version two assumption. But uh, yeah, I mean like the stitching is like kind of bad quality, but it's it's all good. Um, I'm not gonna send it back just because they're freaking in England, so I don't. I already blew that money on the import taxes. I don't want to spend more money shipping it back to them. So that, that's my experience. Take it or leave it. Um, I enjoy most of the stuff. I'm going to be rocking the hell out of it tonight on back day. So catch you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.